Okay. Uh, what we're going to do here is uh, it's called a needle aspiration, and basically it involves a bursitis, which is a big festering thing here that um, three weeks ago I fell over in Siberia, smashed my arm, and um, it was sort of coming right, and then it's um, sort of not right now. It's got a big, it feels like rubber. So I'm just going to go in and try and um, get the uh, fluid out. So let's see how that works out. Yeah, I'm going to do things slowly because this is, I have to get the focus right. Yeah. What I'm doing for the focus is almost just moving the camera to position. Yeah. What's this? Uh, very, very important. Never ever stick a syringe into any part of your body without cleaning it because your body does have bacteria on the outer surface of it and well basically bottom line is you could uh, stick an infection inside your um, skin and then you're going to lose your arm or well, maybe not quite that bad but then you really are going to need to see a doctor uh, so very very important so what we've got here is a just a five mil syringe and uh, we're going to pop the doodah on the end of it, just like that. Now, ready with your ass. No, just joking. Right, so basically, um, yeah, I'm going to shove it in. Not sure. Get this and I might need you to aspirate because I don't think I can do everything at once, so try. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you aspirate? So you're going to hold it steady and you just want me to. Yeah. How fast? It is full. Mm -hmm. no, it's not working. Okay, try again. Oh God. Uh, that's exactly the colour of fluid I need to see. Just, just, just yep. Okay. You know, that's good, you've got suction on there. Okay, I just want to um, change the camera angle. Mm -hmm. Am I pushing it back in? No, no, I'm yeah. pulling it. Just wait till I hold it. Yeah. Cool. Just slow. Don't pull it all out the end. Okay, just hold it there. Holding it? Yep. It's actually kind of hard holding a camera and doing this. Yep. Jesus. Pull it back a wee bit more. Okay, mm. and just let go. Has it still got some suction? Yeah, just a little bit of suction. Okay, pull it back out. You're pushing it back in there. Okay, and just let go. Yep, just I let go. I can't let it go. If I let it go, okay. there we go. Okay, well, that's actually a pretty good job. Jesus, can I be sick now? Hang on, hold no, it. No, you can't be sick. But the reason I'm doing this and not going to a doctor is because if something like this happens in the middle of nowhere, you've got to fix it yourself. So it's best that I try and fix my own uh, injuries here, and then if I f fuck it up, I can then go and see a doctor and get the problem fixed. Um, but if we did this in the middle of nowhere, I'd be quite happy doing it myself. You do realise that I haven't had breakfast and I still want to chuck. Why? Shit happens. It's just life. So that was actually a very successful procedure. And you've got to cover it up. It hasn't drained all of it, but it's certainly relieved the pressure and it doesn't hurt anymore. I, I, as soon as I stuck that syringe in and started sucking, um, the pain went away instantly. So there we are. That was exactly the colour of fluid I expected, judging from my YouTube medical training last night. <laughs> and there's quite a, quite a few mils there.
So that's a lot. Oh, there's still some in there. I might do this again tomorrow. But this is still this is um. All that fluid is now not pressing, and it's now quite quite loose. So I'm really wrapped with that, and that's exactly the colour. If if we'd sucked a whole lot of white pus out, then I would have needed to go to the doctor immediately. That's exactly what I expected to see, and I'm really really pleased with that. So there you go. That is a bursitis intervention from Dr. Mackley.